So this is just going to be a quick, quick mower update. Um, I'll show you this real quick. I got my fearless front sticker on here. Do something fearless. He's got one in the same place, except really on his bumper, but in the back. But I really liked it in that position. I was either going to put that one or my ATLTF sticker there, all terrain lawn tractor form. I'll put a link in the description for that. If you are looking for a forum to discuss everything about off road mowers or whatever, um, go there. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I have uh, that there. Just got new front tires, same as my rear, except smaller. Carlisle Snow Hogs, basically ITP hole shots. I've got them pressured down, so you have some, they have some give to them. Oh, and then the biggest update, which I'll show you right now, if I slide this bag, roll it back. I'm redoing my pulleys and my belt system under here. And some of you <clears throat> had been asking to see how my linkage was set up. Basically, I have a piece of 5 16 um, rod here. All right, my voice is going. Um, that's hooked up to the uh, blade engagement right here on these Murrays that has a little hole right there. And when you move the lever up by the steering wheel, it moves that whole shaft. So anyway, I bring it back to about here, turn it, you know, 90 degrees. You put this in here, put it with a cotter pin through there. And then it's hooked up to this little arm on my shifting, on my, um, Transaxle. This is how they come stock set up from um, the um, late 90s to early 2000s Toro wheel horses, which is what this MST205 came out of. This is stock, this little arm, and then I just have the rod running right to there. Just bent it on either end. Um, so it's really simple, really. It just really is. Um, uh, so that's my shifting right there. And I've got my brakes just right here which do work as well as a parking brake. But I'll show you my pulleys. I've got a four inch in the front and a four and a half in the back, which is still gonna give me basically a one to one ratio, which is what I had before with the eight inch to eight inch. But it's give, gonna give me a little bit more slip because my eight inch to eight inch gave me too much torque. They would pull a wheelie in basically every year and just like pop the front end right up. There was no real play like you would in like a regular clutch in a car. It was like a racing clutch because it was basically an on off switch. And that also made it hard for me to stop. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I think I might have a little bit of an issue with the belt guards in the rear um, since it is such a small pulley. I'm really not sure how I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna have to come in from the sides with them, but I think I might have Todd help me with it because I'm not really sure how it's gonna work out. But we will see. I will um, find something to do. I might be able to get one on this side this one coming down right there I might be able to move it over enough and have enough metal to bolt it in I'm not sure yet but anyway I have my belt have my pulleys on this is not ready to ride right now obviously um, I also need to make an idler uh, pulley for adjustment because with the smaller pulleys it makes it so the belt rubs on the clutch pulley here so I'm gonna have to do something with that too um, and it's also been rubbing on the sh shift linkage so uh, I'm gonna have to do some adjustments there but uh, nothing really too serious, I think. This has just been a kind of quick update for you guys. Um, only other thing is I might have to rebuild uh, or redo my wiring in here because there's some kind of draw on my battery from somewhere. If I let it sit two days, my battery's dead. Not really sure what that is. Um, let's see, any other updates? Throttle's the same. Oh, new muffler. This is a muffler off a 14 and a half horsepower overhead valve Briggs engine. Um, the only difference between the old one is that the old one had an exhaust port right here, which is why there's that hole in that heat shield. I had to keep that heat shield there, number one, because the uh, exhaust comes very close to the carburetor. I don't want anything happening there. And my spring for my um, throttle is hooked to a hole right there in the uh, in the heat shield so I had to keep that there so I could still have spring tension on my on my throttle um, but uh, instead of the exhaust port being there it's on the bottom now which I kind of like because it's not shooting it out to the sides it's shooting it down to the ground and if you're going through dust it kicks it up <laughs> which is kind of cool so uh, maybe in the water if I'm in the water it'll just kind of like make a little spray so anyway it's a little bit quieter um, it doesn't backfire as much now because the old one had actually rust holes in the back and the old one was running without an, an exhaust gasket so it was having a lot of exhaust gases leak by the rear 
so um, I put a new exhaust gasket on. This is working a lot better. Um, so I can't wait to do another romp once I get all of my pulleys and stuff hooked up with my new tires and everything. Go with Fearless and maybe Jake and test it out after my um, improvements on this thing. And then after this, I mean, it's going to be really hard to find new stuff to do. And if it is, it's going to be stuff that I want to do to make it a little bit more interesting. <laughs> so um, thanks for watching this quick update. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it.